What's up homies, it's your boy MSage and this is my follower pet system version 5.0. So VRChat recently had an update that changed a lot of things as far as VRC constraints and many other things related to avatars, which is kind of forcing my hand and now I have to update my system to the newest version, but it does come with some new features. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the new system. Now, first, you'll need a few things set up before you can even install the system. First, you'll need to make sure that your project is the 2022 version of Unity, which you can see here. Make sure that you click this option when you are creating your avatar, or you can go ahead and switch the version to 2022 and you'll be able to use this system. Secondly, you'll need the AV3 manager or the avatar manager three from the creator companion in order to install the system. This is required. And if you don't use the creator companion, then you can use the link down in the description in order to download the AV3 manager without the creator companion. Once you have those things installed into your project, you should be ready to get started with installing the follower pet system and your follower pet onto your avatar. So now you should be ready to start bringing in your files. First, you wanna bring in the follower pet system. That is the base system Unity package and click import. That will bring in the shaders, bring in the actual system files, all the important stuff. Then you wanna bring in the based pet Unity package in which this will be the actual follower pet itself. Lastly, if you have a custom skin, then you're going to want to go ahead and click and drag that into your Unity package as well. So in this case, we're trying to install the Ghost Puppy of Terra, and I'm currently installing the Nightmare skin. Once you have those three Unity packages brought into your project, which if you don't have a custom skin, it will only be two Unity packages, you'll, you will want to first start installing the base system. Go ahead and open up VR Labs Avatars 3.0 Manager and click and drag your avatar to the avatar space above. Click on the FX layer dropdown arrow and click on Add Animator to Merge. The animator you're gonna wanna merge is the full system FX layer, which is pet.fullsystem.fx. And make sure all of these parameters are blank. If they're blank, then that means that you're not putting in another system on top of your previous system. Then click on merge onto current. Once you do that, you wanna make sure you put a check mark next to pet.int pet.remote.x, pet.remote.y, pet.remote.z, and pet.remote.r. Then you wanna make sure you click on the second check mark next to each one of those as well, because this will allow all of these parameters to sync with other players. This is how you control your pet system and how you control the pet remote. After you do that, you wanna go ahead and install the pet's animations. This will vary based on the pet that you're trying to install. So if you're trying to install the ghost puppy of Terra, then you'll open up that folder and you'll see the pet animations.fx. You click on add animator to merge. Then you click and drag that in here and just click on merge on current. And now we no longer need the AV3 manager for now. Now you wanna go ahead and install or bring in your main menu or your pet menu. Go to your avatar expression menu, click on the plus and change the type to sub menu and you want to add the pet menu sub menu and then go ahead and call that pet menu this is how you can access the controls of your pet now we're going to go ahead and check on the parameters go ahead and open your avatars parameter list and make sure you have the necessary parameters added in this case our parameters were added correctly though for pet.int i like to click saved because if you want to toggle your pet off and then switch off the avatar and back onto it the pet will stay off now a few things you want to note about this system is that you want to make sure that in your fx layer that all of your right defaults are set to on a way you can check that is if you go into the AV3 manager and look at your avatar and click on WD, you will see that under the FX layer that everything has the right default turned on. 
right here. Make sure that all of your effects layers or your playable layers have right defaults turned on, except for your gesture layer. Your gesture layer needs to have all right defaults turned off for my system to work correctly. Now you wanna go ahead and install the follower pet itself. Go ahead and navigate to your follower pets folder, open up the prefabs folder, and if you have a custom skin, you're going to open up the custom skin folder. If not, you're just gonna click on default. But in this case, we do have a custom skin, so we're gonna click on the nightmare custom skin here. And we're just gonna click and drag the prefab into the open hierarchy. If you're installing this request, then you'll just go into the quest folder and do the same steps and just do it with the quest version of the prefab. Now, after you click and drag the prefab to the open hierarchy, you wanna make sure you click and drag that prefab to your avatar right after. Make sure the position is located at 000. Now you're gonna to wanna to open up the follower pet and open up pet settings. Click on pet location. Whenever you wanna change the location of the pet, this is how you'll do it. Do not move the pet any other way. Do not change the location of follower pet because this needs to be at the zero location. Then click on pet scale if you wanna change the size of the pet, like so. Click on pet station for giving it a station point. Each pet will have a different station point. So you'll have to pay attention to the sale page of the pet. Make sure you go, in this case, we're gonna be binding the pet to the head. So you'll wanna to go to your avatar's head bone. Click, make sure you still have the pet station point clicked and you'll click and drag the head bone to the parent constraint that is on pet station point. Then open up pet station point, click on pet station location and make sure it's in a good spot. In this case, the pet will land on my avatar's head. So I just wanna put this close to the top of the head. And lastly, you want to click on pet remote camera point. Make sure this is always set to the head of your avatar. This is how you'll be able to see through the point of view of your pet when you're using it like a remote control. And that should be everything for installing the follower pet system. Now you can go ahead and upload your avatar and you'll be able to use the follower pet in game like normal. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below, or you can put a message in the pet help channel in my discord server. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to become part of the homie family, then go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. Peace and much love.